all right guys so in today's video i'm going to show you how to do high-end skin softening in photoshop and then i'm also going to show you how to remove pimples black spots wrinkles and any unwanted stuff on your images that you don't like my name is the and welcome back to another photoshop tutorial without further ado let's jump right into photoshop and then let's start editing and so what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to duplicate the background layer by pressing ctrl and then do it like this and we're going to first remove all this pimples on the face and all this black stuff on our model's face today. I actually downloaded this image online. Kindly drop in the comments anything you would like me to know or anything you want to tell me in the description box below. So we're going to select the lasso tool like this. And then we're going to just circle around all the parts that we don't like and then just drag to a much cleaner area like I'm doing right now. All right, so we circle this side and then drag it to a cleaner area. Circle this, drag it to a much cleaner area. I'm gonna repeat this to all the parts of her face. Circle and drag. I'm just gonna speed up this side. All right, let's check the before and after once again before and then the after there's one pimple over here that i'd like to remove from my lip let's circle drag it to a cleaner air like this yeah we can leave it as this we're gonna clear the remaining up later all right so let me zoom out let me just merge this two layers control and then click on the background layer together with the layer one selected and then right click and select merge layers all right so we have our layers in one um layer all right so now we're going to create our frequency separation adjustment layers so we're going to press and hold ctrl and then j twice like this we're going to change our first layer to color and then our second layer to texture Then we're gonna hold control and then press the color layer and then control G to put both layers in a group and then change the name to frequency separation that is FS and select OK. And I'm gonna select the texture layer, we're gonna hide it, I'm gonna select the color layer now. Now we're gonna go to filter, blur, Cajun blur, and then let's just drag it to. We don't see any visible details in the image. I think 4, 4.6 is doing away from me. So I'm just gonna keep it at 4.6 and then select OK. And I'm gonna select texture layer, make it visible. Then I'm gonna come to image, apply image. Then at the image colon, we're gonna keep this, or we're gonna change this to color. And we'll, we'll, we'll remain, we're gonna keep the channels as RGB. We're gonna change the blending to subtract scale at two and then offset at 128 and select OK. Now we're gonna come to the blend mode, select and then change this to linear light. As you can see, our image is back to how it was when we started. All right, so if you want, you can just check out the link to this action in the description box below i have it already created for you so you're just gonna click on it and then it's just gonna play out this action for you to do your frequency separation so now we're gonna select the color layer like this i'm gonna select our mixer brush tool these are settings we're gonna use for today so you can just check it out and then copy and then use this so i'm gonna increase the size of the brush like this i'm gonna start from her cheekbone 
soft and we're gonna brush gently like that so at this point we're gonna soften the skin all right so with the color layer selected we're just gonna brush gently on the skin like this I'm gonna move to the bridge of her nose. So we're gonna keep brushing like that. All right, let me zoom out. So this is what we have right now. Let's check the before and after. This is the before, and then the after. This is the before, and then the after. As you can see, some great change in our image. Before we had so many pimples and acne on her face, we've been able to remove everything. And then we've been able to also add some softness, some softness to the skin, making it look much better and much perfect. So let's move to the texture layer. Let's zoom in a little bit more. As you can see over here, there are some textures over here that are, that if we are to remove, it's gonna make our image much better. So we're just gonna select the spot healing brush tool and in this brush over them. Yeah, so our image is looking much better. So that's simply how to do this, how to soften the skin and then remove any blemish, blemishes and unwanted stuff. Blemishes, pimples and any unwanted stuff you don't want on the image. So this is just how to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know where you're from. Don't forget to like this video and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.